Magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Ako si Teacher Jerry, guro mula sa ikasyam na baitang ng asignaturang musika, sining, edukasyong pampalakas at pangkalusugan. Halina't manuot, matuto at makinig ng ating mga aralin. Handa na ba kayo? Hello everyone, I am Teacher Jerry. Now, our lesson for today is Asian Era Architecture, Prehistoric and Egyptian. Are you ready to listen? So class, our expectation for today, you will recognize the Ancient Era Architecture, Prehistoric and Egyptian, specifically this lesson will help you to create artworks guided by techniques and styles of Western classical art traditions. Describes the influence of iconic artists belonging to Western classical art on the evolution of art forms. So class, what is architecture? Do you know what is the meaning of architecture? Architecture is the science and art of designing the buildings and other physical structures. Let's go to the Western classical art traditions. Artworks in every era has its distinct art forms depending on its aesthetic and utilitarian needs. In the Western classical art tradition, architecture art form is one of the popular works that has been made. In the Western cl classical art tradition, an ancient architecture in ancient era, even at the early stage, mankind strove to build higher and higher. They build on a ridiculous scale and spend thousands or millions of hours of labor on a single piece of structure. From the Asian period Prehistoric architectures, man has developed a form of architecture based on megaliths or a big rock from the Greek word lithos or stone and megas big. This architecture is made of human stone blocks, which were probably intended for burial. Always remember that megalithic monuments have always ignited man's imagination. It provided plenty of legends and superstition. During this era, stones and rocks were associated with divinity. There are three types of megalith stones. Men here, dolmens, and cromlech. Men here, a huge stone standing vertically on the ground, usually standing in the middle of the field or arranged in rows. Dolmens, the word dolmen originated from the expression taumen, which means stone table. These structures are in the form of table, consisting of two huge standing stones supporting a horizontal giant stone, cromlech. A Britannic word where chrom means bent or curved and leg which means slab or flagstones. Literally, it is a circle of standing stones. In Egyptian architecture, this architecture's style was developed during the pre-dynastic period, 4000 BC. This structure has thick sloping walls with few openings to the obstain stability and the exterior and interior walls along with columns and piers were covered with hieroglyphics and pictorial frescoes and carvings painted in brilliant colors. Ornamentations were symbolic including sacred, sacred metal, solidities, and vulture, common motifs such as palm leaves, buds, flower of lotus, and pyrus plants. In, Pyr in Pyramid of Giza, one of the best examples 
it is the most substantial Asian structure of the world. The three pyramids are funerary structures of the three kings of the fourth dynasty, namely Khufu. Cheops. From the Great Pyramid was attributed to Kafa Chapen, whom the pyramid next to the Great Pyramid is attributed, and as small as is attributed to Menkauri or Maizerinus. Last is Mastaba. It is a type of Egyptian tomb in the form of a flat roof, rectangular structure with outward sloping sides. It was made of mad bricks or stones. Thank you for listening class. I hope you learned a lot.